Hey, I'm Andy, we're back with Guild Wars 2, and we're just gonna continue the personal story as I get to this little green spot in the in the distance. So last time we used a golem prototype, which seems pretty OP, and I wish they, I, I hope they made more, but I don't think they did, so right now we're meeting Larenthir of the Wild, and apparently we're gonna use the Searing Cauldron, but if I remember right, uh, what happened... Uh, I mean, what happened in Guild Wars 1 was that someone used the Searing Cauldron, which caused the Searing? If, if my memory serves me correctly, but that caused a lot of damage, so I wonder what's going to happen here once once we use this cauldron. <laughs> Hopefully it'll hurt Zaitan's forces, but eh, well, I guess we'll see. Blast, blast from the past. <laughs> I guess that's in reference to the Searing in Guild Wars 1. Well, yeah, when I first saw that uh, cutscene, it was just crazy how, like, devastating it was. I should play that sometime the again in the future. The way, Commander. That pilot of yours really knows her stuff. I'm confident she'll deliver. Our job is to clear the landing zone. You remember Baron and Pharaoh? No. The prior no. to prep the cauldron once <laughs> it's in position. Enemy resistance hinges on our two main objectives. The Cathedral and Prince Nekendeza leader of the risen forces huh. there there's something special about that one he's been destroyed multiple times but keeps coming back so he has like this ever. power of rebirth or something not this time gov pharaoh and i are ready to roll let's see old necky shrug off a point blank searing cauldron to the face is that a british char huh. hopefully we don't i should i should be in line huh Hopefully, hopefully we don't suffer too many losses. Hopefully, the hopefully it goes off without a hitch. If things go pear-shaped and we all get killed, I'm blaming you, Baron. Well, there's already some corpses here. So I... Many have lost their lives here. This cathedral is more of an abattoir. Be on your guard. So I do remember reaching in from the water. chapter eight on my first character when the game launched. I just don't remember where I stopped, and I don't. I don't even know why I stopped. I know that at one point I stopped doing the story in order to farm a tunnel and I think I spent quite possibly Patrol like a third of my back. time we'll have to clear the entire like my overall time back in the day in Guild Wars 2 before I took a break in that tunnel lead, so you just drop right for the Syrian Cauldron so there's this tunnel right here and it was at the time it was the best possible way to get karma and you needed karma for basically everything at the time. <laughs> like if you want obsidian like a good way to get obsidian shards if you wanted I guess I think exotic armor cost karma as well. Yeah. It was like one of the best ways of getting karma because it was like a never ending event chain or something like that. I mean it is what it is. There's like so many currencies right now but at the time it was, I think it was just like mainly gold, gems, and karma. Maybe laurels too, I'm not, I'm not sure. It's like, it's, I think it's the reason why I have like about 3 million karma in that character. Whereas this one's like barely over. I guess that, that 3 million isn't that much nowadays. Because I, I didn't really continue farming <laughs> after I took the break. And by that point... There's plenty of ways to get karma in other currencies. Alright. Bone tendrils. Where's the bone tendrils? Oh, they're the bone tendrils. The thing that reminds me of Half-Life. Hopefully they don't kill me one hit. I think I'm 
out of range for two. So far so good. Might be a little bit too like I, I see all this <laughs> behind the wall. So maybe things are going too smoothly. So was it the they were were they doing like dead fish? Just gotta notice that. I regroup my lair out there. That's the last one. I'll mark the drop zone with smoke. Okay. All right, we'll see what happens. So, I like I don't really remember Guild Wars yeah, One, but another tendril. Did Judge, they pull up now? Did they use one cauldron or did they use multiple cauldrons? Oh no. One tendril did all that. The airship is down, but we can still complete our mission. Are they Hurry. okay? <laughs> cauldrons intact. Back me up, Barrow. This is going to be more complexicated than we thought. Don't wait for me, Boyo. You carry your load, I'll motivate mine. Hurry. Nekandeza will reserve his main force in case this is a feint, but he may try to flank us. You, from the south. you wouldn't think that something like of this size could cause that much damage in people's own, but I mean, then again, there's like, there, there's like nukes in real life that can do a lot of damage to, so maybe it's not outside of the realm of the uh, hospital. But like, where, if, if they're gonna use the cauldron, where are we going to... I mean, are, are we using the pack chopper to run away? <laughs> that is. If, like I said, I, my memory is my memory is a bit hazy in Guild Wars One, but I remember the searing was a big, big event, and we, we need to be a ways away. <laughs> He's an abomination. Another abomination. A smaller abomination. Okay, so far so good. Only about halfway through though. Or maybe not. I, I, I guess we're done. <laughs> I mean, I still see the forces behind the wall, but maybe we're done. <laughs> um, I don't know if more enemies are supposed to spawn or not. That, that's the thing. <laughs> like the progress is going up, so it, it's not stuck, so. I guess we're just gonna chill here. <laughs> well, I wish. I mean, maybe I wish and not wish that. <laughs> At the same time, though, there are more enemies, but I mean, it is what it is. I'll, I'll take it. That. They can prepare it in peace. So, so, so the cauldron they used in you had to be larger, right? Or maybe, maybe they'll use like a fraction Great of the power leaders. here. Those ancient flame legion poobahs may have been evil, oppressive oites, but they knew how to enchant a weapon. Too right. That's a proper bonfire, that is. 
Now we just need to sweep up the ashes and detectify that pilot lash of yours. Not yet. I'm sorry, but this mission isn't over yet. Arda will have to wait until we verify that Nekendeza is truly dead. You what? Old Necky is a pile of greasy grit right yeah, I don't know now. about Believe that. Believe you me. Nothing can <laughs> live through that. Nothing. That means he, he lived through that. Anyone else, I'd agree. But Nekendeza has walked away from certain death before. This time, we have to make sure. Then let's get moving. The longer we take, the worse artist chances get. Put a guard on I the hope cauldron and no one me. takes the cauldron. Just one guard? Alright, so... Confirm the Risen Prince uh, is actually dead. I mean, it's actually done... Uh, like the cutscene didn't I don't think it did it justice in terms of look that lower area looks like it escaped the blast such destruction the cutscene didn't really do it justice I think because looking at it now it is a lot more in terms of like the area that it affected because I thought it was just like the, this front area. Explore the hidden sub level that's not really that hidden. I think I remember this area. I think there was a an event that event chain that led to this area. And then that led to the the final event was like you had to defeat a champion. Is there a hero point still he oh no. I didn't even I wasn't even exploring the sub level, but I guess it triggered still. Hunters are finally revealed. You staged quite the fiery spectacle. Using the cauldron against us was a bold move. Oh, is he cloned or? You are worthy foes. So he doesn't have like rebirthing capabilities. He was just cloned. I am Prince Nakendazar, wielder of the Crimson Blade, the Grand Deceiver. I keep wanting to say like Nebuchadnezzar. That was that was fast. <laughs> Are we certain this time? Finally, Neck and Desert is gone and the cathedral is ours. A great victory! And now we can focus We've on the, the pilot? Machine. For the first time, Zaitan's army is fully on the defensive. Excellent work. And the pilot? And you, War Master. But I'm yeah. not celebrating until we find our pilot. Of course. We'll cover more ground if we split up. My squads and I will help you comb this entire battlefield. Okay then. Don't lose hope. I haven't known Jaya Shriek long, but she seems tough. If anyone could have survived that wreck, it's her. I hope so. Hopefully she didn't get wounded. Alright. So we have to look- it's not even in this instant, okay. So it's actually in a new instance, okay. A new story instance. So where did it- no, oh, it's like it's not that far, but it's still within the. It, it's still like a ways away if you're walking. So maybe uh, I don't know how long that's gonna take. Hopefully, hopefully she doesn't get turned. Hopefully, I mean, I assume that we still have the cauldron, so. That's still good, I guess. Hopefully it doesn't fall to the wrong hands and it gets used on us. <laughs> so I guess I'll do that in the next part. This looks new to me. Crush the risen spider and free scholar Z's. So yeah, I guess I'll just do the Ho hopefully uh, Arda is fine, but I'll do the next part. Because <laughs> I, I think it's, it's one bit per uh, uh, video, so that is what it is. Maybe I'll just I'll do some like map exploration along the way. Yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Like I uh, like I said, um, the cinematic. I don't think it really did it justice for the cauldron 
Or maybe I'm just remembering things wrong with Field Wars 1 and maybe there's maybe there's different sized cauldrons, maybe the person enchant maybe like the whoever's enchanting the cauldron matters in terms of potency and all that stuff, so yeah, it is what it is. Even though we're already here, I'll just continue the next part. So I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, thank you for watching and have a nice day.